Thanks for joining New Jersey News Network. I'm Kimberly Kravitz. New Jersey's COVID-19 activity map says all six regions in the state remain orange, indicating high coronavirus activity levels. The map uses data for the week ending December 5th, indicating that all 21 counties are experiencing high coronavirus levels for the third week in a row. However, four of the state's six regions could turn red if their percentage of positive cases climbs above 20 percent and other health indicators remain at their current levels or higher, according to the data released by the state health department. Yesterday marked one year since five people were gunned down at a bodega in Jersey City, including Detective Joseph Seals. Residents say that since that day, the community has changed in many ways. Emily Young reports. It's been one year since the terror attack in Jersey City that left four people dead and a community traumatized. And residents say since that day, the area has changed a bit, and for the better. Well, the community is more aware that, like, how, how can I put it? It's more aware that it's a multi multicultural community now, and everybody has, like, felt the effect of what happened. So, you know. But like most things this year, the pandemic has sidelined the progress. It's a little unity. It's more unity. It's just everybody is just in a, like because of the pandemic, I could see. But before that, I see how people was just coming together a little more. And then, but like now the pandemic, it just, you know. Stop it. Yeah, it just it, it, it made everybody back, back, back for each other, for themselves, and it's like everybody separating themselves again, but right. it'll come back. The mayor says they've done a lot to that heal. Said, we've done a lot of community building nevertheless over the last year. A lot of round tables with faith-based uh, leadership, uh, a lot of conversations, a lot of outside counseling coming in, uh, a lot of shared uh, ceremonies of uh, faith and religion. Uh, COVID has obviously changed some of that, so uh, hopefully when we're through this in 2021, we'll pick up again. But I think the city in many ways is stronger and uh, showed how resilient we are as a result of what happened on December 10th. And so is the Jewish community. We've gotten along with the neighbors beforehand and continue to get along. We've done a, cert a couple of programs a year ago after the shooting by meeting civil leaders and co coming to the schools and coming to the high schools and meeting let them see that we're, we may dress different, may look different, but we're really all the same. We're all God's children. We're all created in God's image. And that's, you know, what that transcends everything. Reporting in Jersey City, Emily Young, New Jersey News Network. And yesterday, a 35-year-old man was shot in Jersey City. The Hudson County Prosecutor's Office has identified him as Niles Holmes. The shooting happened just after 4:15 in the area of Martin Luther King Drive and Wilkinson Avenue. The victim had multiple gunshot wounds to the upper body. Holmes was transported to the Jersey City Medical Center in a life-threatening condition, and he was later pronounced dead. Police officers in Patterson will soon be wearing body cameras. The city's police department first announced the program a year ago, and now they've announced the launch of a 90-day pilot program. It will happen in phases, starting with the 90-day trial for 24 officers. From there, 150 officers will be wearing them, according to Mayor Andre Singh. Check out this sea of red in this local farm in the town of Tabernacle that grows Thousands of poinsettias every holiday season. The Lennon Farm greenhouses grow over 40,000 poinsettias that are distributed throughout a 100 mile radius. You can pay them a visit at 212 Tuckerton Road in Tabernacle. We are officially at the two week countdown till Christmas and tonight is the second night of Hanukkah. The Jewish festival observed over eight days. Stay with us for weather updates with Nick and the latest news. Be sure to head over to our website njnn.tv. You can also download our mobile app if you haven't already available for your Apple iPhone or Android. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Short.